All right, so a few days ago, I got pretty bored during the COD off season. So what I wanted to do was do a little fun project where I simulate a bunch of games with a bunch of different rosters and see which roster that I could create out of all the combinations of possible CDL players, see which one would have the best S&D win rate out of all the teams. So what I did was I took all the CDL players, stage three onwards, and took their stats in S&D. I grouped them up into roles, ARs, and SMGs, and I basically took every single combination of those two AR, two SMG combos and made them into rosters. It turned out to be over 63,000 different combinations of players. And what I did was I took their S&D stats. This included things like kill death ratio, non-traded kill percentage, which is basically the percentage of kills that you get that aren't traded by the opponent within five seconds of getting the kill, traded death percentage, which is the percentage of deaths that you get that are traded by your own team. So they don't really count as a, a real death because they are traded by your, your teammates. First blood engagement percentage, which is the percentage of time that you're either first blood or first death in a round. Then you have first blood percentage and your first death percentage. So I grouped them all together and ran round by round a simulation. And this included things like different multipliers, whether it's offense or defense on a specific map. So if it was an offensive side of map, the offensive team would have a little bit more of a weight of a chance to win the gunfight. So how the simulation worked was I took one roster and I ran it against a hundred separate random teams just to see how they would do and what their round win percentage would be after the entire simulation. And I would go map by map, round by round, and simulate each round. So each round was simulated by first taking the first engagement percentages of the players and using those as weights to see who would actually get the first blood and who would be the first death. And then I would take you know, random players from each team and face them off against each other and the kill death ratios would act as percentages to see who would win the gunfight. And from there, I would also take, you know, their non-traded kill percentage and traded death percentage and match them up through weights. From that, I would take the percentage of that kill possibly being traded. And from there, it would just go kill by kill until one team did not have any more lives. So I didn't take anything objective wise in terms of bomb stuff. So it was basically just uh, kill death uh, interactions to simulate the entire round. So as you can see here, as the kills are going down, you're seeing matchups against players and whoever won the weighted battle through the random number generator ended up winning the gunfight. And you know there were little multipliers based on how many players were alive for each team. So if a team had a man advantage or a two man advantage or a three man advantage, you know those were also multipliers I took into effect to see how the round would end up playing out just to see how I can simulate it as if it were a real round. So it's not just in a vacuum where it's one gunfight after the other. It's, you know, actually taking into account what happened previously in the round. So each map was going round by round and each roster itself went through 100 separate maps. So if we have 63,000, you know, different combinations of rosters, we had over 630,000 maps being simulated. So for this, I basically had to leave my computer on for 48 hours straight with the simulation going in the background. Uh, so without further ado, here are the results. So as you can see, the number one roster here was in fact Insight, Slasher, Kleenex, and Shotzi. That group of four was the most consistent throughout the entire 100 maps of their simulation, winning over 60% of their rounds in Search and Destroy against random teams. So obviously this is all taken in a vacuum where we're all just basically focus on the search and destroy stats from stage three onwards. This is not taking into account chemistry. This is not taking into account, you know, player player relationships or how well a player works with another player or even, you know, strategy. It's literally just taking their stats. And so thinking about it is if you were playing a sports game and you just simulated the entire season, you know, this is basically the equivalent of that. So you see a lot of slasher, a lot of Kleenex in the top 10. This is because they really did well in terms of the kill death ratio category and were really good in terms terms of you know first blood percentages and not getting traded out so and this was a really fun project that I was able to do this is some super cool you know roster combinations and you know some combinations you never even think of but you know this top roster where it's half of Toronto as previous roster plus you have Austin and then Shotzi it's a really nice you know roster on paper obviously there are two main ARs so it doesn't really take into effect flex players 
But from this, I just wanted to make the most amount of combinations possible using two ARs and two SMGs. So I didn't really take that into account. That could be a little limitation. So I hope this is a little informative. You know, it really was just a fun passion project for me because I wasn't doing anything over the off season. And maybe I'll turn this into some type of game where you can, you know, see live random rosters competing against each other and maybe make a game out of it. I don't know. But I think that would be a really cool, you know, possible idea. But thank you guys for watching. I'll have more strategy videos in the future. Be on the lookout for those and I'll see you guys next time.